Here we come back. What is the cheapest invention ever made that earned its inventor billions? Here is that funny and amazing story. When I was a kid, I was told that if I invented something amazing, I would become a millionaire. And this guy did it. He's called Percy Shaw. What he invented are the reflective studs that we have in the center of our roads. In Britain, we call them cat's eyes. They enable vehicles on a dark night to stay in the center of their lane. So the question is, how did Percy Shaw originally come up with the invention? And this is his fantastic answer. He was driving one night in the dark and there was a curve in the road and he would have hit the fence if there wasn't a cat sitting on top of the fence, reflecting the light from his headlights in their eyes. And that's why they became known as cat's eyes. One Scottish comedian apparently said, if he'd hit the fence, he would have never invented the cat's eye. He probably had gone on to invent the pencil sharpener. <laughs> he patented his idea in 1934 and set up a company to make them. He named his company making these amazing inventions the Reflecting Road Stud Limited. And it was such a simple but brilliant invention, you would have expected the local authorities of the United Kingdom to flock to his door. But they didn't. And now here's a bit of a personal story. We live in 2020. <laughs> uh! And here in France, they have a curfew. Can you believe it? It really feels a bit scary. Nobody can go out unless you've got a really good excuse, after 8 p.m. at night until 6 a.m. in the morning. World War II, here we come. And I remember my mother telling me how scared she was of the blackout people who'd go around and shout, turn that light out, if they had a crack in their curtains in Britain in World War II, because everybody had to keep dark. Well, it turns out a bit like carrots make you see in the dark, blackouts were not that successful and had a counterintuitive bad effect. Because the whole of Britain was dark, no street lights, and cars had to have very muted, pathetic headlights, more people died on the roads of Britain than were killed by German bombs. Not to disrespect anybody who lost their family in the Blitz, that's terrible. But I imagine that was true. And that was exactly what Percy Shaw and his cat's eye company really needed. So his reflective studs were fitted in billions on the roads of Britain. So I think the term cat's eye with the reflective road studs is only British. Please tell me if you're American, if you call them cat size, because this really happened. During roadworks in Britain, sometimes you have to lift the cat size out of the center of the lanes for resurfacing. There are wee boxes with the reflected glass eyes in them and they store them in piles and then they put them back. And there is a classic sign in the United Kingdom that warns motorists, cat's eyes are removed. <laughs> and supposedly an American tourist driving in the county of Suffolk saw this horrific sign and braked and reversed back just to reread the horror of England that cat's eyes had been removed. <laughs> oh, what a brilliant story. Keep it real, stay tuned, and remember the truth is out there.